to make things. Hi, today I'm going to show you the technique I use for making 3D filament rivets. It's super quick, requires minimal tools, and you can remove and replace them easily. All you need is some filament, wire cutters or pliers with wire cutters, and a hot tool like a hot glue gun or soldering iron. Heat up your tool and press the end of a piece of filament into the hot part until it melts into a head. If you want to even it out, you can press it against a smooth surface like a table. Thread it through the pieces you want to attach and then cut off the extra. Simple snips work fine, but on some pliers with wire cutters, you'll notice that the blades are closer to one side than the other. I found that putting that closer side flush with the material gives just the right amount of filament to form the other head of the rivet and give it a nice snug fit. Keep a finger over the opposite head and press the filament to your hot tool to make the other side of the rivet. And that's it. You can use a soldering iron too if you're careful. Just be aware that your fingers are very close to some very high temperatures. And make sure to clean any plastic residue from your soldering iron when you're done. If you want to remove your rivets, you can use flush cutters or just a sharp knife to cut off the head from one side. There are a few advantages of 3D filament rivets. If you're 3D printing, you've already got the material for it. No need to order special parts or go hunt down the right size machine screw. If you want to detach them and change the configuration or material, it's really cheap and quick to do that. One of the cool things about doing this with filament is the variety you have to choose from. You can use the same filament as your print if you'd like it to blend in or pick a different one if you want them to stand out. I've used 1.75 and 3 millimeters of both PLA and ABS, and the rivets are pretty solid for moderate wear. That's my technique for making 3D filament rivets. Have fun, and thanks for watching. Click here to see my 3D printed poking device where I use this technique. And of course, if you like this video, please subscribe for more tips and new project videos every Tuesday.